Hello, hello, Pokeface coming back with a new video and currently you are looking at my uh, Western Digital uh, 512 gigabyte uh, NVMe Black that I put underneath the uh, double deck heatsink on my Asus Z270i motherboard. The reason that I'm showing you this is my drive getting very hot even in idle when I'm not doing anything the idle temp is around 70 to 80 degrees and when it's uh, in load <laughs> the temp it can even spike up nearly 90 degree and getting throttle this is annoying because I have the same drive which I put in my laptop and it's operate around 40 degree maximum why it happens? Uh, my laptop it has a fan that used to suck air to cool the internal components Meanwhile, this test bench only has two 120mm fans that I use to pull cool air to the radiator and uh, blow to the motherboard. And apparently, they don't provide enough airflow for the components like RAM and the M.2 drive. When I use my air can to blow cool air on my M.2 heatsink, the temperature immediately dropped from 70 to around 60 degrees so I definitely need a fan that can blow air on the heatsink. The easiest solution is picking up a USB fan, uh, specifically the Arctic Breeze USB 92mm fan. Arctic is the uh, well-known brand for their thermal compound and the one that I'm using is the Arctic Silver MX4. They also make a uh, graphic card uh, cooler such as uh, Accelero Extreme, uh, which is uh, not only uh, help your graphic card cool but also very silent. And based on their reputation, I expect this fan to work really well, and it does. The only negative thing is the length of the fan, which is a little bit longer, so it's much easier to bend and uh, reach further. By placing the fan like this, a lot of uh, cool air are being blown directly at my M.2 heatsink, my VRM heatsink, and my Triton Z RGB RAM. Uh, since I placed the phone a little bit too close to the fan, you can feel it is very noisy. But when I used the PC, I could not hear it at all. It's very quiet. Much more quiet than my HD 120 and my power supply fans. To demonstrate, hardware monitor is showing my temperatures around 75 degrees. Now we will plug the fan and see the temperature start to drop. Lots of cool air was blown at my hand. And I did not dare to touch my M.2 heatsink. 70 degrees, I'm telling you, is very hot. And I just plug in less than 10 seconds and you can see the temperature immediately drop to 66 degrees. I will fast forward this part of the video. Within 10 minutes, the temperature dropped from 75 degrees Celsius all the way down to 40 degrees Celsius which mean this USB Arctic Breeze fan cooled down my NVMe drive by almost 40 degrees Celsius. During load, specifically the Witcher 3 ran for 30 minutes, the temperature is just around 43 degrees, which is very cool. Here are my PC's noises uh, when all the fans are running. I'll put my PC into sleep so that you can only hear the noise of the USB fan.
So what do we learn today? Two similar NVMe drive. The one in my laptop has good airflow, temperature is cool, run nice. The one in my desktop has a big heatsink but get throttled every time I run the PC. So the heatsink is not very important as long as you can have a lot of fan to blow cool air toward your components, uh, specifically your M.2 drive, it will remain cool and the performance will not be affected. <laughs>